Ever had this happen? It's supposed to be a touchscreen phone, so why doesn't touching it work? Many smartphones have what's called a capacitive touchscreen. What does that mean? It means that the screen can sense anything that comes near it that can hold an electrical charge. So for example, skin is very good at it, but gloves are not. Another way is to use something conductive to extend the electrical properties of your skin to the outside of the glove. One way to do this would be to use something metallic like wire or a metal snap, but that would conduct the cold from the outside of the glove into your hand and it might scratch your screen. Instead, we're going to use something called conductive thread. It conducts electricity just like wire, but it washes and sews just like thread. For this project, we'll need a needle, some conductive thread, and some scissors. Oh, and you'll need a glove. You'll probably have to buy the conductive thread online. Sometimes it's sold in big spools like this, but if you look around, you can find it in shorter lengths. First, turn the glove inside out. You can use the point of the scissors to help with the fingers. Thread a length of conductive thread onto your needle and begin stitching a circle of thread onto the finger of your glove. Feel free to be messy on the inside of the glove. The more thread you have inside, the better contact your finger will make with the conductive thread. On the outside, you want to make a circle about the size of a pea, a quarter of an inch or six millimeters. If you make it too small, the screen won't recognize the touch. If you make it too big, you won't be very accurate. If you're good at sewing, you can sew a pattern, a flower, initials, Something interesting. I'm not terribly good at sewing. Sew as many fingers as you think you'll need to operate the touchscreen. Maybe one or two fingers and a thumb. Now all you have to do is stand in the cold and wait for a call.